<laughs> Joining us now is our resident wanderer, Debbie Griffiths. Debbie, good morning. Where have you been this week? Well, I've driven up north to the Bay of Islands, beautiful, the birthplace of New Zealand. So take a look. Road trip. I've been through Kerry Kerry a few times, but I'm told I've missed out on some really beautiful places. So I brought eight-year-old Nate with me to check it out. <laughs> As promised, Kerry Kerry Basin is picture perfect and home to New Zealand's oldest buildings, the distinctly English style stone store. It's a big Georgian warehouse, so it sits at the head of a tidal estuary and next to an inland road that leads into the interior, so it's actually a pivotal location for trading. And tucked demurely behind is Kemp House. The amazing thing about Kemp House is that it actually is the oldest building in New Zealand. A lot of people think the stone store is the oldest building, but it's Kemp House is really, she's the one. She was finished in 1822. She wasn't the only house on the mission settlement, but she's the only one that survived. This is where history comes alive. Kids can do chores and homework early 1800 style. For 142 years, the Kemp family lived in it. The Kemps were original missionaries that came out in 1819. The missionaries also introduced honeybees. The honey house where the hives were once kept is now a cafe. After lunch, head over the footbridge and up the road to the Parrot Place. Oh, hello. Within minutes of walking through the entrance, we are covered with our new feathered friends, holding conversations with them and dancing with Elmo, the red macaw. There are 300 birds from around the world. You can feed them nuts and seeds and walk through the aviary. Kids just love getting up close and personal, as do the adults. Hashtag melt. And they'll especially love the chocolates at Makana Confections. This is where you'll find high quality chocolates handmade with fresh natural ingredients. And you even get to try before you buy. Locally, it's considered the ultimate chocolate experience, and we can't disagree. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. What a great trip. Yeah, it was amazing. And I've even bought a treat for the audience. Makana Confections has given you all champagne chocolates. Yay. Yes. OK, hey, Jesse, come on in. Why don't you take them over now so they can start getting into the chockies? Nice, I love these. nice leg warmers. Oh, well, thanks, you know, for the occasion. <laughs> no one else got the memo except for yeah. us, obviously. No. <laughs> so it looks really great. The tell me more about the parrot place. Oh, the parrot place. As soon as you walk in, you're kind of covered with these parrots. And what the owner said to me was, a lot of people have never handled parrots before, so it's really great if you take the kids there and get them just to experience having the birds on you. It's a lovely experience for the kids. They loved it. Is it a lovely experience? I thought they're having lots of birds over me actually just slightly freaks really? me out. No, yeah. it's fine. If you can handle like little nails on yeah. you, then that's all it is. Don't it's... pick you or anything? No, no. They they had a little nibble of, of Nate's ear as you saw in the piece there, uh, of his nose, sorry that's not his ear, <laughs> of his nose and his ear as well actually. Um, but he was fine. He loved it. He had a really great time. Okay, well that's very good to know and maybe I should go and try it out. So you're not going to get, there's no, no blood going to be drawn. Just... No blood will be oh, drawn, good. I promise. Just, just, just clearing that one up. And the stone store looks fascinating as well, so they really put the kids to work. Yeah, they do. We got to try out, as you saw, the, the pouring of the water. They even get to empty out the potty trays and write on the slate and wash clothes, scrub clothes the way that they did in the olden days as well. It was really hands-on, really oh. worth going. Excellent. That is what every child needs to learn, how to scrub, close and empty the potty. <laughs> well, thanks, Debbie. Lovely to have you here. We'll see you again next Wednesday. Great.